What's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the iPhone 17 Pro. I've already unboxed the Air and the 17, so if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. But without any delay, let's go ahead and unbox the new iPhone 17 Pro. So this right here is the deep blue colorway. I kind of wanted the orange colorway at first when I saw it, but then I thought, you know, it's a pretty hot color, but it's not as sophisticated or low key as deep blue so i went ahead and got this guy right here i think this color matches me more so you know let's just go ahead and unbox this now the box opens slightly smoother than the iphone air but you know, with these new boxes, these new recycled boxes, they're not of the same standard as the iPhone boxes back in the day. But what can you say? Yeah, there we go. The blue is definitely looking good. It's got this two-tone going on. The Apple logo on the bottom, it's kind of throwing me off. But I see what Apple did here. You know, they're, they're treating this whole bottom segment as a part of its own so it's symmetrical when you look at it just from the bottom but if you're looking at it as a whole and coming from an older iPhone it does look kind of off let's put this phone to the side now and we get a braided type C cable and the manual cool boom we got the phone right here check it out that's a beautiful blue deep blue color right there I definitely like it and time for some ASMR action all right, so I just finished setting this up and the first thing I can notice is the phone's forged aluminum unibody. It feels smooth in the hand. It has nice curves in the back. And uh, yeah, it feels a bit more, I would say ergonomic or a bit more comfortable, let's say. So unlike the iPhone 16 Pro Max here with its titanium build and the iPhone 14 Pro Max with its stainless steel build this right here the 14 pro max feels sharper in the sides you know i can definitely feel the sharpness here while on the 16 pro max it's slightly more curved but i can still differentiate the back glass and the titanium frame here you know i can feel the two different materials here while on the unibody iphone 17 pro it's just a smooth holding experience very nice i definitely feels more solid and uh, I would say a little more premium than these two other iPhones. Yeah, and that's definitely an improvement in the design. And yes, while we're at it, let's take a look at the Apple logo. So you can see here the difference in the alignment. Let me know which one you like better. I like this one, but yeah yeah definitely but i will say the 17 pro max's design is not as bad as i thought it was going to be even with its two-tone finish it still looks good and you will definitely know that you're holding the newest pro next we're going to find out okay before i even talk about the vapor chamber and all that i want to see if there's any difference in the reflections it's really no difference it's more so there's a difference in the amount of tint. So this one, the iPhone 14 Pro and the older iPhones, they have a yellowish tint, you know, to the reflections while this one has more of a bluish tint. Now let's see if Apple's new laser welded vapor chamber actually makes a difference in terms of sustained performance. So it's supposed to give you 40% more sustained performance compared to the older models and we're going to find out how they compare so i'm going to be recording a 4k 60 fps videos continuously for about 10 minutes or so and then we will see the temperature of the devices i'm going to be comparing this with the 16 pro max just so it's more of a current comparison instead of the 14 pro max should i even do the 14 yeah i'll, I'll do the 14 pro max as well so Make sure to like this video if you're enjoying this. Now, here we go. Recording this in 4K at 60 FPS on all three of the devices. Here we go. So, the recording has started. I had to make some space just to record a blank can. 
behind this, but we shall see how these devices perform. So I will be back. Okay, also let's also add in the iPhone Air while we're at it. Here we go, let this iPhone Air join the battle. Boom. And we are off. The iPhone Air is like 20 seconds late, but it's uh, going to be interesting nonetheless. So let's see. All right, so it's been over 10 minutes now. We are reaching 12 minute mark and uh, I'm going to just let the phones keep recording while I just pick them up and get a feel for how they're feeling. iPhone 14 Pro Max, it's warm. It's like it's slightly warm. 14 Pro, it's also warm, but not as warm as the iPhone 14 Pro Max. For the 16 Pro Max, this boy is kind of getting hot. Wow, it's even warmer than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Very interesting. As for the iPhone Air, for how thin it is, it's doing a splendid job. It's not as warm as the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and it's definitely not as warm as the iPhone 16 Pro Max here. This guy is the hottest right now out of all of them. And now let's get some actual numbers. I will be measuring the temperature of these devices with my Pixel 9 Pro XL. So I'm going to start with the 14 Pro Max. Okay, so the 14 Pro Max is coming in at about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, the 14 Pro is coming in at about 85 degrees Fahrenheit as well. The 16 Pro Max is coming in at 96 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, okay, actually it's going down a little. It's at about 93 point, well, it's at 94 degrees Fahrenheit, all right? And then for the iPhone Air, it's at 87 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, I know I said a lot of numbers there. I don't even remember what I said, but let's measure it again and see. Now, the iPhone 14 Pro Max, once again, now we are past the 13 minute mark on recording on these phones and the iPhone 14 Pro Max is at 88.9 degrees Fahrenheit. For the iPhone 4 17 Pro, this guy's at 87.7 degrees Fahrenheit iPhone 16 Pro Max is at 96 degrees Fahrenheit. And okay, 94.1 degrees Fahrenheit, all right. And then the iPhone Air is at 89.9 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, it just jumped up to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So out of all of these devices, the coolest running iPhone right now at the moment is the iPhone 17 Pro at 89 degrees Fahrenheit and we are at 15 minute mark. iPhone 14 Pro Max is at 89.8 degrees Fahrenheit. But now let's do the iPhone Air and it is at 89.5 degrees Fahrenheit, all right. And then the iPhone 16 Pro Max, the hottest of them all, is at 96 degrees Fahrenheit and we are currently at 15 minute mark so there we have it okay the vapor chamber is definitely helping the phone stay cool but you know these two phones this one doesn't have the vapor chamber but yet it stays pretty cool it's almost the same amount of warmth coming out of these two phones and this one is warmer than these two newer 17 phones, but I'm very surprised by the heat management of the 14 Pro Max, that's excellent. But the 16 Pro Max here, this would be great for winter time to warm up your hands, yeah. Wow, I had to record this. So after finishing up the camera test or like the heating test, this phone is cooling down way faster than any of these other phones. The bottom part is already cooled up. This part is slightly warm, but that is very cool. While these other phones, you know, they're taking their time cooling down. This one is still warm. And this guy is, of course, the warmest of them all. While this 
is also pretty cool. Like the bottom part here is cool to the touch. Only up here, it's slightly warm. So the iPhone 17 Pro seems to cool down faster than all of these phones, as well as not heat up as much as these other phones. I was going to do a performance test, but my 14 Pro Max is more than powerful enough for me. So I know all of these phones are also excellent performers. I might just do a whole separate performance test. If you guys wanna see that, let me know in the comments down below. But that about wraps up this video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Peace.